Hey guys, MK1, Rain, he's back so finally. Right off the bat, you know, the fans are excited. A, weapon, which is his wizard staff. a lot of weapons in uh, this game, I feel like. Shao Kahn, sorry, attack. General Shao, not Rain. And he is definitely now much less Whoa, that of a looks physical cool. fighter than he ever has been before. He is a very powerful mage, and he uses it in most of A mage? Attacks. Like, he looks very, uh, very different from Ramius, though. Mm -hmm. The moves themselves, but they look very cool. The water effects are very interesting, very original. Is water staff. This is I love the kick out. The it's kick out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good. And you'll notice the water leaves the top, gets yeah. in there, and then comes back to the top. Right. I absolutely love it. It's like a spirit almost, the water. You know? So let's start off with a couple But the idea is very cool. Like, he's yeah. a mage, water mage. Two. Four. Two. One. Three. Is just like really good range mid. The sound effects, the water splashes. It's also got forward three, which is an overhead, into a double overhead, and he gets a pop up. Double overhead, oh boy. Important, I think. Air combo, yeah. And one other normal I really wanted to show was a standing four. Which, yes, even though he's the no classic. a ninja, he still has tremendous leg strength. Right. The so classic. So strong he can actually take you across the world. Yep. Now this is Can you combo it? Can you do it twice? If you hold it, he gets a combo. Nice. And he can also cancel out of the hold to fake you out. Okay. There you go. See, I'm good. And let's check out his throw, which is a nice nod to the classic water bubble. He goes in with mm -hmm. you, and then you burst out. Cool. So you can see his normal attacks are very fresh and different. And I think the water it is very different. Are awesome. Mm -hmm. So you want to go into his special moves? I think so. So he thunder has water ball or no really more? Interesting zoning tools. I mean, some might even call him Lightning, a sorry. premier zoner. And let's start with his. Straight projectile, which takes up a ton of real estate, is fairly swift and has some interesting ways that you can change it. If you EX it, he gets a full knockdown. Okay. You can actually hold it down and get a stagger. But no more like floating uh, thing, huh? And you can actually cancel out of this hold down. So you can mix up doing the move, timing. Yeah. doing different timings, doing the EX, wow. or canceling okay. out of it. Keep the opponent guessing. Okay. When you have a projectile like that that takes up a ton of space, what's the one thing you know the opponent's going to try to do to beat it? Jump over it. Jump. Jump. And that's not going to be super effective. Because he wow, has look at the effect, though. Anti-air version. And this has a very neat EX that actually allows him to pop up for combos. Okay. So I think it's pretty cool. Again... It makes a full, you know, full screen projectile become kind of an offensive tool up close. Looks more like jello than water. <laughs> now, one thing would it's be like the water is very well, thick. Well, what happens if they're using projectiles against him? Yeah. And he has a water bubble where he surrounds himself in water, and any projectile is going to be negated. He'll actually wow. be destroyed when it hits the water bubble. I feel like a lot of characters have uh, anti-projectile moves behind, in this game. Okay. Go in the middle of. Works as a shield. Exactly. But if you EX it, it surrounds him and travels with him. Damn. You gotta walk him down. Exactly. Can you shoot so him out of it when he's like moving do his forward? Lows, do his I feel like he's out of the bubble. All that good stuff when he has the water shield on. Gotcha. Now there's other ways you can get in. You can set these water portals, and he can set them anywhere he wants. Ice cone? <laughs> and then he can actually warp through him. So you could do cool stuff. The hell? Like set one here, go in, when you they're, they're, out, they're massive tool. Warp back to where you were. Or, when you're in, you can set one, do some fun zoning, and then use this to get back in. Okay. It's complicated. Holy and shit. You can go straight into combos, I mean, I'm sure somebody's gonna come like up with some crazy stuff for sure. Now, once you've established that you're willing to teleport or throw out some of these fireballs and the opponent's scared to move, you can start using the Whirlpool. And he has close, medium, and far. These will go on the ground. Ground ice. And if the opponent walks into it... No, sorry, um, Noob Saibot's um, down portal. I forgot what it's called. I love how he just grabs the top of his staff and yes, throws it down. Yes, it is really cool. so cool looking. 
Another movie he has is his geyser. This is a pretty good advancing special. He can two and one into. And if he exit, it has armor. So it's a good wake up attack, a good way to beat pressure. I just realized the bar was a bug. Oops, sorry about that. And then lastly, one more awesome full range move that kind of shows the full extent of his power. Oh. So cool. And this is a move that he can actually hold. Wow, love the bubble on top. That's so cool. Just drop down. Love the rain so too, it's drop, obviously. Like, you're doing your, your uh, water ball and what's called it's a little more lightning, but that kind of like attack. acts like one basically. Go into this. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, still throws him up. Yeah. Immediately drop down. You can set up. You can do all kind of stuff. Set up portals. Be doing that thunder god move. Cancel it. Go through the portal. Just all kind of options on the screen. I think um, he's going to be a really interesting character to kind of freeze them up full screen to get him and start doing his mix-ups. And speaking of the mix-ups, let's kind of show how he can use his cameo and go with that. Yeah. I assigned him Striker because striker. I think a cop Good old striker. a wizard is the exact kind of thing you'd see in Mortal Kombat, For sure. right? Let's do it. So the first thing I'll show with Striker is he has Freaking striker, his grenade toss. Love it. Straight yeah. out of MK3, yeah. comes in, throws the double grenades. They can either go low or high. I love the uh, and you can imagine, these cup are car sound. Moves, which means they can come out while Rain is doing his attack. He comes in runs away. <laughs> Boom. You are doing your straight up water beam while he's doing I love he kept the uh, classic look you too, you know? You can combos. So you can do stuff like... Yeah. Oh, nice. Combo yeah. extender. Striker also has a set of baton moves. Of course. He's got cut bop, where he the comes swipe. in and does an overhead. Does he have the swipe? And the classic baton sweep from MK3. There you so go. These are lows yeah, yeah, there overheads. You go. So, great Got access to both of them. Yes. Nice. So, one thing you could do. You got your overhead. The opponent's stand blocking all the time because they don't mm -hmm. want to get popped up. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? Sweep them. But you can also do this in a string. Mm -hmm. So, if it's overhead, overhead, you can do. So, that's an actual low. Interesting. Low. Then they get used to the timing. They're like, oh, I'm one of these like ninja killer or sonic people with good reflexes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can fuzzy that. Then you start doing stuff like cop bop. Only once, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just from this 50-50, he can use striker to have more 50-50s. That's, like, that, that's how you beat Sonic Fox. Exact that's the key. That's Got all it. you have to do. And like a famous football player once said, it's more than a 50-50. Got it. Lastly, Striker has one more move, which I think is probably my favorite. Oh, my favorite thing is he used a sports reference. Well, sort of. Um, <laughs> half half. Striker comes from behind and he handcuffs you, and this gives you a reset. <laughs> Love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Just so like you that. Get a bunch of advantage, and you can go for a mix-up. Okay. Wow, that's crazy, though. So you get into your combos with a handcuff move. Then go in and continue your offense. Yeah, so yeah, like you yeah, Start yeah, a combo yeah. with your overhead, go into the handcuffs, and then make them guess low. Got it. It's super that's fun. That's really cool. Yeah. The animation needs so some I work, but uh, it's uh, fine. That's the way Liu Kang re gets reset, you know, but Maybe it's all go good. go into his fatal blow. Let's take a look. And I'll just Let's say Striker is my favorite fatal blow. Okay. Police brutality, probably. Okay. Shoots him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Well, he's got the lighting. There's the lighting. There's the water. There's everything. Um, cool. Awesome. Awesome. I first of all, Striker is Striker. I absolutely love Striker. He's like so out of place in World Combat. It's freaking perfect, man. I love it. Um, Rain himself. Rain is very, very different. Just like General Shao. They're completely new characters. I feel like. They kept nothing of the old uh, versions of themselves. The difference being though that, that General Shao, he's just very basic. Like they didn't really add anything to him. He has an axe. That doesn't mean anything, you know. But Rain, they completely changed him. Like all his, he, he's not just basic. Like he has a whole new arsenal of moves. They're very different from what he had before. 
he, he looks complicated to play with the portals, to be honest. I mean, like, to set him up properly sounds pretty complicated. Um, he looks very different. He feels like... He, he feels very different from what I'm seeing here. Um, it's like a whole new character, basically. You could have called Rain something else, and and I wouldn't I wouldn't have known. Why Shao Kahn, I would have think that if you're naming something else, I'd be like, hey, this guy resembles Shao Kahn, you know, just the, the big kick. That, that he had that move, like, back in MK, right? But Rain himself, very different, very different. And, uh, but some very cool effects in the water. They look very nice, but very, very different. I don't know. Uh, I know Rain has some crazy fans, some very dedicated fans. Are they happy with this? Or I'm going to have to check out what people are saying online. Either going to love it or going to hate it, because I don't people wanted Rain back for a while, and they finally got him, and they got him under this form. Is this what you guys want? Or... Are you happy with the change or are you not happy with the change, you know? We'll see. Thanks for watching. Peace.